continuation, we are now asked to determine the joint displacements, member displacements, member actual forces, the support reaction for the thrust shown using matrix stiffness method, what we have discussed kanina, having a cross section of load 1 to 2, 1 to 2 of 4000 millimeters squared, node 1 to 3 of 4000 millimeters squared, and node 2 to 3 of 6000 millimeters squared, with a uh, modulus of elasticity of 200 giga pascal. Ito yung ating thrust. Meron tayong horizontal force na 80 kilonewton on this direction. Horizon vertical component 5 meters. Uh, horizontal member. Bottom member of 5 meter, hinge and roller. So, determine it yan. Okay? <clears throat> Later on, I'll then specify section of a member truss. Gamitin niyo yung strength of materials. Ano yung... <clears throat> or using your ASIP handbook, using uh, the dimension of the truss. So, again, first step was for you to identify your nodes or your joints. So, ang ginawa natin dito para mas madali... I-define muna natin yung bottom members or bottom joints. 1, 2, then your top joints, which is 3. Then, identify your members. 1, 2, and 3. Nasa sa inyo na yan. Ang importante, yung near-far nodes ninyo. Okay? Ang aking near-far nodes sa member 2 is 1 to 3. Near-far nodes sa member 3 is 2 to 3 kasi positive lahat yan near far nodes sa negative <coughs> uh, sa member 1 is 1 to 2 nasa sa inyo na yan kung pwede nyo balik ta rin yung near far node pwede rin po as long as tama yung inyong cosine theta at sine theta baka mapagbalik ta nyo yung negative positive ng cosine and sine theta magiging mali na yung matrix ninyo then identify your member axis Asan dyan ngayon yung known members? Or uh, asan dyan yung known axis? Known ba yung horizontal ni roller? Known ba yung horizontal vertical ni joint 3? Unknown yung joint 1? And unknown yung vertical ni joint 2? <coughs> so, known yung horizontal, let's designate that at force P1, P2, P3, and P4 are unknown, P5 is also unknown, Last T, P6 is also unknown. Later, magiging delta yan. Ay magiging D. Kasi deflection naman. Lahat nung naka-red are unknown forces. Lahat nung naka-black are known forces. Same goes with deflection. Ay, but, uh, other way around naman pag deflection. Separate our members into known designated members. Identify your near-far node. Apply your axis with designated numbers. And now, define your local stiffness matrix or compute your global stiffness matrix of a member. Starting with member number 1, we have its near-far node, node 1 to node 2, matrix, uh, wrong na dito, axis 4 to 5. 1 to 2. Remember, node 1 to 2 yung ating near far. The cross section is a 4,000 mm square or known as 0 0.004 meter square. The modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal. Para on meters lahat tayo, lagay natin sa 200 million kilopascal. Okay? Convert natin sa kilopascal para meters lahat. Then, identify the parameters of the member. Okay? Horizontal axis, <coughs> 5 meters based on the given problem kanina. Vertical axis, 0. By Pythagorean, you can solve for the length, also 5 meters. Cosine theta, cosine theta. 5 over 5 is simply 1. Sine theta, 0 over 5 is 0. Hanapin na natin yung cosine theta squared kasi kailangan natin yan sa global stiffness matrix. 
cosine theta squared is 1. Cosine times sine theta is 0. Sine theta squared is also 0. Compute for your Ea over L for the local stiffness matrix. Multiplier Ea over L 0 0.004 times 200 million over 5 meters gives us <coughs> 160,000. Anong unit niyan? Meter squared, kilonewton per meter squared, kilonewton, kilonewton per meter. Okay? 160,000. First thing is for you to solve your local stiffness matrix. It's supposed to be local stiffness matrix. Local stiffness matrix, again, is your Ea over L times the matrix 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 1. Distribute mo lang yung Ea over L dun sa ating matrix. Scalar quantity multiplying to the matrix. Multiply the scalar quantity on each element of the matrix. So, yan yung ating matrix for local stiffness matrix of member 1. 160,000. Negative 160,000, negative 160, and positive 160,000. Next is your transformation matrix. Formula natin sa transformation matrix. Cosine theta, sine theta, 0, 0, 0, 0. Cosine theta and sine theta. Meron na tayo. Naibigay na natin yan sa properties. Distribute. Ayan na yung ating matrix for transformation. Okay? <coughs> In continuation, after solving for the transformation matrix, you can then immediately now solve the global stiffness matrix of member 1. Meron na tayong local stiffness. Meron na tayong transformation matrix. Naka-Excel kasi to, so <laughs> gawin nyo na lang po siyang matrix, no? Then, the formula for our global stiffness matrix of a member is the transpo transpose form of the transformation matrix multiply to the local stiffness matrix times the transformation matrix T. Ito yung ating general formula, right? And simply simplify them on this manner. So you can also compute that manually. Multiply nyo ito saka ito, then ito. Then basically, you will then come up with this value. Then distribute Ea over L on each element by scalar multiplication of matrices. So how do we come up with this value? Diba? Yan lang naman yun. Transpose ni matrix T tapos multiply to the local matrix LK then the local ma uh, the transformation matrix T. <coughs> After doing so, local matrix, nakamultiply naman na yan sa Ea over L. So, yan na yan, no? After having, uh, mo uh, multiplying all the matrices, you will come up with this value, which is your global stiffness matrix only for member 1. Ngayon, para saan yung numbers natin na 4, 5, 1, 6, 4, 5, 1, 6. These are now denotes the axis forces of your near-far Reference nodes. Very important yan. Remember that your near-far nodes on member 1 is 1 to 2 with horizontal of 4, vertical of 5, horizontal of 1, and vertical of 6. Very important yan later on in formulating your structure matrix of a member. Kasi gagawin natin yung buong general structure using 1 to 6. 1 to 6. Kasi 6 axis tayo kanina. Then how about member number 2? Your near far node is 1 to 3. Axis forces 4 to 5. 2 to 3. Identify your properties. Parehas yung cross section. Parehas yung modulus of elasticity. Horizontal 0. Vertical is 5. Length is also 5 meters. Cosine theta is 0 over 5. 0. Sine theta 5 over 0 uh, 5 over 5 is 1. Cosine theta squared. Cosine times sine theta is 0. 
sine theta squared is 1. The A over L, D, times A over L is 160,000. Local stiffness matrix, same formula. Distribute, then ulit. Transformation matrix, and then ulit. Then your global stiffness matrix. Again, transpose form of the transformation matrix times the local stiffness matrix times the transformation matrix. You'll get here. So remember, your near-far node, 1, to 3, 4, 5, 2, 3. U, horizontal, V, vertical. 4, 5, 2, 3. Parehas yan. Okay? Next is your member 3. Identify your near-far node and your <coughs> axis forces. 2 to 3. 1, 6, 2, 3. Properties of the members. Based on our figure kanina, that is 5 meters horizontally going to the left. Ano ba? Going to the right. Going to the right. Negative. Then vertical, 5 meters. Pythagorean, 7.0710. Gamitin nyo yung buo. Then cosine theta, 5 over L. Ah, 8, a negative 5 over L. Sine theta, positive 5 over L. Then cosine theta squared. Cosine times sine theta. And negative uh, sine theta squared. And of course, EA over L is 169,000. 705.63. Local stiffness matrix, ganun na rin. EA over L times 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 1. Okay? Transformation matrix. Kaya nakuha na natin si cosine at sine theta. Okay? So, ito yung ating transformation matrix. And lastly, your global stiffness matrix. Multiply nyo lang yung transpose ni transformation times local times the transformation. Gives you this value. And don't forget to include those numbers on your near-far node. 1, 6, 2, 3. 1, 6, 2, 3. Later on, basta yan na yan. Now, you have already identified the general global matrix of your ra. Uh, your uh, matrix or global stiffness matrix of each member. Next is for us to identify our general global matrix. Ito yung ating global stiffness matrix on member 1, global stiffness matrix on member 2, and on member 3. So, how do we generate or summate our general global stiffness matrix? Remember, the general global stiffness matrix K or S is the summation of global stiffness matrix on each member. So, that, uh, yeah, on each member. So, kaya importante yung ating near-far node para ma-formulate natin yung structure ng ating global stiffness matrix. On a global stiffness matrix, you then need to include all the forces according to its number on the uh, axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tama? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Anim yung ating axis forces. Horizontal si 1, horizontal si 2, vertical si 3, horizontal si 4, vertical si 5, vertical si 6. Then, kopyahin mo rin yan doon sa taas. Ngayon, how do we summate them? Summate them according to the near-far node. So, halimbawa, ito, U4 is to U4. Plus, hanapin mo si U4 ng member 2. With also U4 <coughs> ng row. Column to row. Column to row. 
then equal is the u4 u4 ganun then see u4 v5 0 0 then u4 i yeah u4 v5 u4 v5 u4 u1 u4 Malabang. So, U4, U1. Walang U4, U1. So, never mind. U4, V6. And U4, V6. Wala. So, never mind. Uh, V5, U4. V5, U4. U1, U4. U1, wala. So, eto lang siya. Row is to row. Column is to column. Based on the number nung nodes, no? Then, summate them accordingly. Okay? And then, we'll have this structure matrix or the general global structure matrix on the entire structure. Next up is for us to identify the joint load matrix. Return to the general formula. O, return tayo sa general formula. Hanapin daw natin yung known, force, uh, known forces sa ating structure. This is also the known forces equal to the structure matrix times the deflection. How do we do that? Identification of joint load matrix. Balikan muna natin yung general. Ito ngayon yung ating general matrix. Known, uh, ito yung ating forces, 1 to 6. Deflection, 1 to 6. Ito yung ating general structure matrix. S11, S21, S12, S21 dapat to, S21. Yeah, something like that. Basta yan. 1 to 6, 1 to 6. Known forces, unknown forces. Known def unknown deflection, known deflection okay on this given example saan dyan yung known forces known yung uh, saan dyan yung ating known forces known forces positive 80 si P2 0 si P3 walang vertical dyan then 0 si P1 Walang horizontal si roller. So, ito ngayon yung ating matrix for joint load matrix of known forces. Forces on 1, 2, 3 is 0, 80, and 0. Then, identify your joint deflection. Ano ngayon yung known deflection force? Ano yung mga known deflection on our given problem? On this given problem, unknown yung deflection ni horizontal sa roller yung horizontal vertical ni node 3 pero may deflection ba si horizontal vertical ni hinge at saka vertical ni roller wala so those are uh, known deflections so d4 is 0 d5 is also 0 and d6 is also 0 and this will be the probable deflection Magiging deflection ni horizontal vertical sa node 3 and deflection ni horizontal sa hinge. So, lagay natin doon sa ating joint deflection matrix under D4, D5, and D6, 0. <coughs> then, put that on our general structure matrix or complete your partitioning matrix. Known forces unknown forces which is the reaction at the support known defle unknown deflection and unknown known deflection <coughs> then your general global stiffness matrix up next is for us to reduce our structure stiffness matrix into an augmented matrix ngayon paghahati-hatiin na natin siya then, we'll have to solve the unknown deflection and solve the unknown forces or reaction at the support. And that will be on our next lecture.